just have to be relaxed and be in the moment. And I find that I can do that a lot better now that I'm older with more experience. Just be in the moment and it actually goes by faster than you think if you're in the moment. If you're not in the moment thinking about what, oh, I made a mistake last minute or I'm gonna do this next minute, and not, you're, you're not in the moment and you're not gonna win as easily. So being in the moment and finding myself in my zone, it's kind of a cliche, but finding my moment and finding myself in my own now, that's, that's all I have to do to be relaxed and to come out with a victory against anyone in the world. Mentally, I don't think I can really be beaten in a sense because I've been through too many wars in my life. I have my brother, so there's not worse than that, you know, and uh, I just think that, you know, I have to catch him his mistake, you know, I need to make him feel a little comfortable to open up his game, you know, I think he's going to play more on a whole of like, make me open something and try to explode into a mistake. And I cannot get sloppy. If I get sloppy, I'll pay for it. My goal is to just attack him and make sure he's, he's worried for the 20 minutes. Oh really, man, this is it right here, bro. Really curious what to expect in this match. Both these guys are masters outside of the gi. Shanji, the Hoyler Gracie black belt. Brother of legend Saulo Rivero. No points. 20 minutes. Submission only. Matter of course. There it is. Yes. Let's go, Boogie Man! These guys taking their time as they try to feel each other out. Oh, it was a double leg. Nice sprawl from Shanji. Nice, bro. Dean went for it. He did. These guys don't want to waste any time. Yeah, I don't think Shaji going to be very keen on pulling guard because he doesn't want to give his feet up. Dean teaching at a Victory MMA in San Diego alongside Morongo. Doing great work down there. Fighting at his alma mater here at San Diego State. So both these guys are ADCC vets and I think are used to fighting a little bit longer time. Yes. Yeah, neither one seems in a big hurry, rightfully so. Yeah, at this level, Jiu Jitsu is so fascinating, you know. You know that guys at this level, they're not really determined to accomplish or to, to catch anything per se. They're really just studying each other. This is like a note taking, this is like a note -taking session right here. And that's how it should be. You know, any high level guys, when they grapple, when they roll, even at the academy, and you spar with someone, the first several minutes, of any position or any situation is a very much of a studying opportunity. You know, Chrome studied Otavio's guard for, you know, 17 minutes, right? Figuring out really where the strengths were of it, what were the difficulties, and finally he figured it out. So, so much studying going on. So much study. And shoots, stuff again. Get aggressive on him. Shake it. There it Dean is. Dean with the necktie. Off and go. Inside position. Inside arm control. So on the poll, we have 68% of the folks thinking that Shanji's going to get the win. Right. 32% for Dean. Very interesting. I think that's, that surprises me. I think that maybe many of the folks out there aren't really familiar with the truth behind the boogeyman's nickname. <laughs> I mean, this guy, is, this guy scares people, man. This guy's leg locks are unbelievable. You know, he talked about at the press conference about some of the changes and challenges that he's been through in his life. Mm. And he's really in a great spot mentally now that he's been through those things and been a little older. Right. And I expect to continue to see Dean push himself, even at 36 years old, in the submission grappling arena. 
You know, this guy's also a two-time U.S. National Sambo champion. Mm. And an accomplished MMA fighter, too. Yeah. Try for that snap down to the front headlock. Wasn't able to keep control of it. Shunji slipped out. This is interesting. This is a clear indication that, you know, Dean doesn't want to lay down and get his guard passed. Shanji doesn't want to get his foot taken off. No, these guys definitely respect each other's game. They've been around for a long time. Yes. There we oh, go. Here we go. So now you can see Dean looking to go butterfly guard. He'll try to elevate. He'll do the best he can to arm drag and elevate Shanji. Shanji's keeping his hips back. Let's see if Shanji can pass. Let's see if Shanji can avoid elevation from where Dean will get the leg lock. Right. Dean went for that arm drag there too. He did. Shanji kind of limped arm out of it. Double underhooks. Here it comes. Oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Nice body control with the right hand by Shanji. Two legs. Nice pick up. Look at the control in that neck to get the pass. He's clear. Almost. And Dean does not turtle. Does not want to give it back. No. White, very wise. Shanji's keeping his legs so far out of reach. How beautiful. Nice, in, nice. look at that leg control out here. Shanji he just slid that left knee in and Shanji into that hip crease. Nice oh. overhook. Ooh, to the mount. To the mount. Wow. Ooh, Kimura right here. Here's right for Kimura. Very interesting. Now you'll see Dean slip out the back door. His head is sleeped. He's going to turn out and try to face. This is very nice. Shanji's keeping that heavy pressure down on Dean's head. Oof, he's got the double wrist grab. Double wrist grab. He's going to sit down for the straight arm lock. He's sitting down for the straight. Oh! Dean powering out of that. Roll him back, Shanji. He's going to roll him back. Got the almost Beautiful right defense. Well. Now you have you see Dean using the same uh, arm lock counter that Jeff used, which is that inside thigh grab. And now Dean's making gestures, very professional. Well, he knows he was in deep there for a second. That was Correct. a legitimate no, but this, attempt. this is strategy right here. By acting like nothing's going on right now, this is so major. My uncle Helson taught me one time, when someone's choking you, if you make no gesture at all, they won't know it's affecting you. Or you may be going to sleep. With yes. your gesture. <laughs> or you might go to sleep and no one can tell the difference. Beautiful belly down transfer by Shunji, but this is tough. When you're belly down, you have to worry about two things, balance and break. When you're belly up, all you have to worry about is the break. So Dean knows he's safe right here, and Dean has said it publicly. His strategy is one of let the guy get the half submission, and I'll just get out of it. You can lock a triangle on me. I've had many guys, friends of mine that have trained with Dean, and they say, yeah, I guess he gives you a full triangle lockup, and then he'll start rolling from there. Right. He's that confident that his submission, I mean, with that neck, I wouldn't... <laughs> I gotta try to choke that guy. Yeah, I would understand why he would use that strategy. So what's Shanji thinking here now? He's trying to keep that belly down elbow control. He knows he's got a great situation. The risk is if Dean's arm slips out, you can bet he's going to go right for the knee bar or the heel hook right there on the legs. All he needs is his right arm to slip out of the equation. Now, there's no heel hooks allowed in the game matches, but there are heel hooks allowed yes, here. Yes, 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 yes. We had to let the boogeyman go for his heel hooks. You had to. Shanji's going to go back to belly up. Oh, that was nice. Wow. Inside leg control is nice. Look how Shanji's using the right hand to hold the inside leg and trying to prevent Dean from reestablishing the turtle get up. Dean will get up to his knees once again. And you might see Sanji switch out to a triangle of some sort right now, although his legs are unfavorably entangled in the situation. Very beautiful mounted Kimura attempt by Sanji previously, but Dean kept his grips and didn't let it go. We're eight minutes in right here, seven minutes in, 12.50 remaining. Triangle, oh, here we go, back to standing. And there was almost... Wowzer. And his leg almost got stuck in the bear trap. Did you see that? Yes. When he jumped out of that, he almost got stuck, but Dean wasn't present. So, so you talked about that. Goal. Part of the beauty of jiu-jitsu is not just the submission, but it's also the defensive games that right. must play. Like, look at what just happened right now. Is Shanji amazing because he got the mounted Kimura? Or is Dean equally, if not more amazing, for just very methodically untying the knot and getting out? I mean, you can argue both ways. There's something major to that. So that's what Metamora's pro promotes and allows nice double leg. That was true. And he, he did the no-look pass. Did you see that? Dean looked at the crowd real quick and made a little chin fake, and then he went in. Oh, the boogeyman. <laughs> but again, Shanji here on top in half guard. Here, Dean was going for a little omoplata. Now he's swimming for the underhook. He thought about the omoplata from the three-quarter guard, but um, Shanji's hip control was too strong. Look at Shanji's right elbow in the pocket. Shanji bringing his right arm in the hip area in the pocket there is his attempt using both hands to keep Dean at bay from being able to entangle the legs. Nice, bro. Yeah, she, the problem is when you're known for leg locks, when you go against good guys, guess what? They dream about leg locks before they meet you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all they think about. And I can tell you that uh, Shanji's training was no different. All he was preparing for with the situation was 
Not getting out of the leg locks. Nice head tap. Go, go, go. Dean oh. Oh. Yeah, Dean continuing to shoot. Yeah, nice little head snap there, a quick tap, and then he went for right for the double leg. But uh, Shanji used a beautiful overhook to kind of pull up and uh, neutralize. Both guys look, look relaxed, taking some deep breaths, squaring off in the center of the ring. Saulo Hibeta there, Shanji's older brother in, uh, in Shanji's corner. Shanji commented, there's nothing worse than having Saulo, I'll tell you. The guy's amazing. <laughs> crowd getting into it a little bit. They want to see some action. It's very interesting. And it's funny that they're playing right now like you would expect them to play in the, in, in the academy. There's not really, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's they're like having fun. They're having fun. Oof, look at his not. His, 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 his. That was there before. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Dean got headbutted. That's how he, his eyebrow got swollen, but I think that's, that's organic. Dean's still trying to shoot. I haven't so really strong. seen any, any attempts, takedown attempts from Shanji here. Approaching that deep water mark of 10 minutes. Yeah. But like you said, Abu Dhabi allows for more than 10 minutes in their matches. Uh -oh. Oof. All right, here we go again to see if Shanji can pass. Close guard. Shanji, she's such good submission defense here and awareness of these leg locks. I'm just impressed that there's not been one leg lock wrap. And you know that's what Dean practiced. I'd like to see Shanji put a little bit more pressure here on Dean. Here comes the three-quarter guard looking to stuff this front leg with the over-under pass. Dean looking for inside arm control here to prevent the knee stuff. He doesn't want his knee to get pinned because then Shanji will creep around the corner. Shanji and Dean fought before in the ADCC in 2003 where Shanji got the victory, but I don't think they've fought since. Here comes Dean trying to get underneath the equation. Oof. Went for a quick elbow hug arm bar there. Didn't get it from the half guard. It's a little loose. It's a little difficult to close. Dean keeping that pressure on Shanji's left knee. So here comes Dean underneath. Oof, he broke it. pass. Oof, nice pass. Dean coming up for the single leg. Oh, there's a lock. Back to the half guard. Again, great guard work from all the competitors today. Dean has a pretty fancy knee bar that he goes for from the half guard. He'll triangle your legs and he'll catch that leg that's down there. He'll hug the hip. He's got Shanji's. Here he comes up. The, he's coming up. He's looking to get to the single leg. Shanji, great base. Great base. You see Dean's now trying to entangle the leg. Look at his arms wrapping it. I love this overhead shot right here. Metamorphs Pro, Jiu Jitsu Invitational, San Diego, California, October 14th, first ever. 20 minutes, no points, submission only. And we've seen three submissions so far tonight out of the three matches. Couldn't ask for more. Couldn't ask, and all totally unique in their application. Although they have all been arm locks. That is true. Shanji, Shanji. a little bit of blood. Yeah, that cut was there before. He just opened it up a little bit. Hopefully it won't be too bad. All three submission wins by arm lock, but all different arm locks. Yeah, Kyle's arm lock really came from an interesting angle with that reverse triangle kind of Oof, locked on. Very unique, lock. very unique. Very unique leg position there. Then we had the Kimura from Rafael. His real name is Rafael, but you know, the, the Brazilian roots in me. So is your real name Renner? Negative. Well, in America, to American people, I can see that. Here comes the Kimura lockup. Oh, this is very interesting. Oh, Shanji just cleared. Shanji, yeah. ooh, he's getting to the back. He's getting back. Oh, the crowd's working. He's in trouble here. Here he goes. Take it back. Yeah, this is doing this once again. Look at the boogeyman doesn't get scared. No. Imagine see that if, intense look on his face now. Imagine if you lifted. Ooh, there nice go. leg grab on the rollover. She's Shanji. clearing the hand. If Shanji can clear the bicep lock, he's good to go. Dean trying to shove that knee in. Trying to take his time. We can bet that he's going to try to pop the elbow. Watch, there's the pop. But Dean's ready. Dean's been here before, can we assume? Maybe a thousand times in his career. He lets people submit him just so he can get out of it. And the fact that Dean's left arm is underneath Shunji's leg, oof, if he pops the hand out, it's going to be nasty. Very. Oh! Oh, he got it! Is he going to tap? He's got to tap. He has to tap. No! No! 
The Boogie Man. Wow. The Boogie Man. The crowd is going nuts. What a submission the Boogie Man. Sanji had that on lock, lock and loaded. Murphy scares the Boogie Man. Holy the crowd moly. Is on his feet. Showing their respect as well. Unbelievable. Holy moly. Turning potentially the submission of the, of the night, definitely into the escape of the night. Yes. That would have been our fourth arm lock. Whoa. Again, do you what, put what did we learn from this? Let's just analyze what we just learned. Because we're back where we started in that quarter, three quarter guard. Now, we just learned so much. Number one, that the boogeyman. That's why he's scary, my That's friends. why he's scary. He'll let you have whatever, and he'll just, oh, oh. look how calm he was. We saw his face with a direct overhead camera, and he was like, where's my cup of tea? Looking up at the camera. He was so relaxed when you, the hand came out. You saw the intensity on Shanji's face. He Shanji really was had squeezing. Luck. No doubt about it. But we're here again. Oh, here goes Dean for the arm drag. drag. Shanji clears the leg. Another pass. Another pass. So what we're also learning is Shanji can pass Dean's guard. He's doing very well. And he's creating. He went for Kimura once. Went for this extended. Well, let's see what Shanji does. Straight arm lock right, the second time around. Right arm. Oh. Here comes the loop over again. He's going for the underhook on the other side. You'll see Shanji once again start to wrap for this double wrist grab. Ah. Salo looking on. His younger brother. What a pair of brothers. Oof. Shunji at this point very much is concerned with keeping the position, exhausting him. You'll see Shunji spin around here. Looking for this choke. That choke. Which way is he coming with it? Oof. Wow. Back to open guard. Four minutes and 40 remaining. This is about the same time we were talking about the match with Crone and Otavio about what's going to happen here. Right. Deep waters. This is it. This is 16 really. 16 minutes. Man, this is, it makes such a big difference. It makes such a huge difference. Your ability to fight out a submission at this point in the match is, is drastically different than the first five minutes or second five minutes. I cannot believe Dean escaped that unlock. That was ridiculous. Oof. He just cleared the leg off the head. Once his head popped out, he knew he was home free. Could Shanji have done something different to prevent that from happening? Yeah, you try to keep tight legs, but Dean's so strong physically that he literally just got one of his hands. Shanji was doing the perfect arm. Both feet were down. Here we go again. Back to Shanji on top. Passed, isolating that arm. There's another rack. There he went for the double wrist grab. Here comes the jump over the head. All the way around. He's going to walk all the way around. He's going to walk all the way around. Now he's going to step in front of the face and sit back again. Shanji's the kind of guy who learned from the first attempt. He's going to shoot it again. He's going to step right in the pocket with his left foot. Watch, it, watch Shanji's left foot try to clear across the abdomen. Almost clear. Shanji's really got to keep the pressure Shanji wants his left head. foot to come in. Watch the left foot. Ooh, nice clearance. Here comes the leg lock. Upside down. Nothing. Oh, another pass. Not quite. I'd like to see Shanji keep him down. We're going back to the stand-up. Three minutes left. Feel the intensity from the crowd. Dean again asking Shanji to pass. Or step into the bear trap. <laughs> All Dean wants is one elevation off this arm guard. Off of, exactly. But Shanji has figured him out. Shanji had him figured out before they got here in terms of his leg locks, I'm telling you. And I think Dean knew Shanji's passing game as well. Yes, he did. He hasn't been able to neutralize the pass on a couple occasions. Here it comes deep. Here's the leg lock. Oh, wow. Oh. This is where it starts to get dangerous for Shanji, to say the least. Dean's going to hug the foot for dear life. Shanji's doing the runaway pass. Dean's going to switch to a back mount. Double leg takedown, looking to pass here. He's going to try to keep the leg in the equation. Ah. The boogeyman just got boogied. Amazing. Whoa. Back at it again. Wow. Beautiful Set that setup. Bear trap. Oh, they're both after it now. A little under two minutes left. Oh. Shunji's after it. He's hungry. Cross side arm drag setup by Dean here, looking to pull the arm back in. 
I got to tell you, Dean is really doing a phenomenal job of keeping Shanji in his guard. Notwithstanding that one where he passed and, and escaped that intense arm lock, uh, Dean is really taking the best of Shanji right now. Dean trying to pull one arm back in the pocket. If he can get one of Shanji's arm back in the guard, he can set up a triangle. But Shanji knows that move as well, to say the least. Coming on a minute left. Here's half again. You'll see, you'll see Dean try to spin under once again, looking to entangle the leg. If he can't come out the front, he'll come out the back. Ankle pick sweep, beautiful half guard sweep. Let's see Dean's passing game now. Shanji's also got a very dangerous guard. Dean looking to control both legs. They're out of balance. Stop. Careful. Stop the time. Let's get these guys back. Forty-five seconds remaining, my friends. Ho! Trying to drag that leg. Oh, this is nice. Back. This could be dangerous. Twenty minutes in, my friends. Time flies when you're having fun. Yoshi Shanji trying to penetrate the hooks right now and go for the neck. Crowd cheering for Shanji. Oh, Dean's gonna roll to a knee bar. Watch this. Dean's gonna roll under when he can. Look, look, there it is. No leg. Shanji was aware. 15 seconds remaining. Maybe we see that flying armbar again. I don't know. Ah. To the Here's the leg lock again. Time. Wow, what a great match from two veterans. Both these guys very active, pushing the pace for 20 minutes with the first draw of the evening.